Okay, now we begin with the, on the syllabus discussing Blackboard. Um, we will be using the college's web-based Blackboard Academic Suite, and that's um, most of you know where that's available and how to access it. Uh, particularly if you're looking at this video, you've probably already got into the context uh, section of the uh, Blackboard. There, um, you will find. Um, you uh, emails that deal with a course uh, communications I send to you uh, you can check your grades there on exams um, papers and that sort of thing you can contribute um, to blog discussions uh, view videos and other videos that I present to you in the PowerPoint presentations which are the lectures and the turn it in submissions which are of course um, your papers you will turn in there so it will be a way to check your work in the course uh, during the course of the semester. And you use the same email network username that, and password that you use uh, for the college to sign into uh, Blackboard. Uh, grading in the course will be based on a final a midterm, uh, the reaction papers, which I'll discuss in a minute. Uh, we will have a guest speaker for Wednesday at 11, which I expect you to attend and, and submit a, a um, one to two page paper of analysis on his talk. And then, of course, your contribution to class discussion and class attendance, which uh, will be mainly, um, be partly evaluated based on what you do when we do meet in class, but also on your blog. Uh, contributions, your, uh, your contribution to the discussions. Examinations will all be of the essay variety. Obviously there's not going to be a makeup exam since the exams will be posted on the internet. Uh, the questions will be arranged ram randomly so um, uh, th uh, there's no way to, to jointly take an exam. Um, uh, you, uh, you are under the honor code as as well, so you're not, so you're expected um, not to collaborate on these exams. Um, so uh, we won't worry about the makeup policy. Um, you're going to be held responsible for all the tests and the video of, of for all the material covered in the course on the lectures, uh, the video lectures. Um, other things I post on the internet, uh, anything that goes on in class. Um, uh, the, uh, the statement on disability, you can read that over. I'm sure you're all familiar with it. Um, if you have a problem uh, that would interfere with your learning in this class, then you need to bring it uh, to my attention. We're under the um, Code of Integrity at the college. Um, and um, you must remember that uh, Turnitin checks um, for plagiarism or anything like that uh, automatically, um, anything you submit. So um, uh, there is a way of policing the integrity code. If for some reason um, you decide that um, uh, you have a uh, you want to violate this code, just remember it's not uh, me that you're cheating, but everyone else in the class. But uh, you take a big risk in cheating. The course outline is a basic outline of what we're going to be doing in the course. Um, we've already discussed the objectives of the course, and we'll get la later on in discussing what political theory is in the next uh, lecture that's coming up. Then we're going to begin with Ancient Greece, Solon, who will be our first thinker we look at. I have a web link here that you can click on to get some more uh, information. I have Solon and the Athenian Policy Polity by uh, Russell Kirk. Uh, that's posted in Blackboard for you to read, so you're expected to read that section. Um, then when we finish with Solon, we'll get into the Plato's Republic, and you're expected to read the sections from Hollywall and uh, Porter, and then for um, the readings, uh, that's the original works of Plato there, and then the Porter book as well. So there's quite a bit of reading for Plato. So 
you should uh, begin on that as soon as possible. I have other links to other sources for Plato, uh, for those particularly of importance for those of you who are doing papers on some aspect of, um, of Plato. Um, I should go back for a second uh, to mention, talk about the reaction papers. I will assign each of you a topic in this course and um, you're expected to write a short um, five to, uh, to seven page paper of analysis and, um, and documentation where you'll be documented with library sources um, analyzing this particular topic based on your readings um, and on any on, and on outside library sources. Those will be due about a week after we discuss this topic um, in, in class. Um, so um, uh, that will give you a, a general idea when they're due. Uh, you will post them with your final paper uh, to um, uh, turn it in and I will grade it there and evaluate it. Also when that issue comes up in class um, your contributions to the to the blog uh, about this issue will contribute of course to your um, class um, grade your class participation grade. Um, going back down you can see how we go through the course this way this sort of generally outlines uh, what we're going to be covering in the course in about the same order that we'll cover it. And when we finish with the um, um, uh, the minor philosophers, philosophers of Cynics and Epicureans, then we'll have a midterm exam. After that, we'll look at um, the Roman um, order and, and law of Roman politics, Cicero, uh, Stoicism, uh, Polybius, and then we'll get into medieval thought, uh, feudalism, and we'll end up um, de the, dealing with Machiavelli and Jean, Jean Baudin. So um, that pretty much covers the um, whole course, and there you can see uh, when you can expect the final examination. Um, so um, if you have any questions on the syllabus and the expectations in the course, um, just shoot me an email or post something on, on the blog and discussions and um, I will get back to you. But um, having said that, I will end here and complete this uh, second portion and I will um, uh, we'll go back and um, look at the, the second part of the uh, introductory uh, discussion uh, where I left off last time and um, and begin the um, the portion where I just talk about the um, the, the eternal questions, um, the purpose of the course, and the eternal questions and and uh, politics. So begin with the PowerPoint demonstration um, part. Um, I think it's part two of that lecture. Okay, for now, bye bye.